Hi everybody, this is Pastor Susan and welcome to our last week of our stewardship emphasis, Go and Do the Same, as we are considering how generosity changes our lives. Now I want us to think about our attitude toward generosity because, you know, God made us for the capacity to experience generosity, but so many times we think of it as a have to rather than a get to. And so I want us to think this week about how generosity is actually a genius way that God has created within you and me that capability of experiencing the fullness of life that comes through generosity. And I want us to think about three things this, today about how that happens. Um, the first is that generosity connects us with each other. It is based on relationship. And we know this from scripture. We know that God created us as human beings to be in relationship with God and with each other. And so generosity in our lives reminds us that we are not an island to ourselves. that how we act in the world, how we release um, some of who we are, um, gives us the opportunity to experience the fullness of life that God intends. We were not created to hoard up for ourselves treasures. Um, I remember in Matthew's gospel, in chapter 6, Jesus' Sermon on the Mount, um, in chapter 6, verses 19 through 24, um, he shares with us some things that are maybe hard for us to hear, but nevertheless, very, very true. He says, Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust consume and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust consumes and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. And he goes on to describe that treasure in our lives is expressed or not expressed through how we are in relationship with each other. So generosity, first of all, connects us with others. Generosity also helps us to remember that we need to invest our lives and our resources and our gifts with things that really matter. Um, again, in, uh, in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 6, uh, he says, No one can serve two masters, for either a slave will hate, hate the one and love the other, or be dis voted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and wealth. You cannot serve God and wealth. Um, it reminds me of the song, you got to serve somebody. All of, us, all of us make that decision in our lives. And it is about investing in the things that really matter. You know, over these last few weeks, we've been hearing the stories that come out of the ministries for which people are involved at Florence Christian Church, the recipients of that, and the way in which people are transformed as they are investing time and energy and material resources in the things that really matter, in people, in our connections, in our um, sharing the gospel in ways that are making a difference in the world. So investing in what really matters. And so generosity is also about freeing our hearts. Freeing our hearts. Um, I remember early on, this was probably 30 something years ago, um, when I first began being a pastor and I remember having this conversation with Ron because we were struggling at that time. We were still, um, you know, very, very young and we had debt and we had things that we were really um, pushing through, you know, as we were thinking about what is it that God wants us to do as far as giving um, financially? And so we had this major breakthrough um, as we had conversation about our money and about um, not the have to, but the want to. That part of what we wanted to do with our lives was to honor God and honor others and be generous with our giving. Um, and so on our commitment card, I'll never forget this. On our commitment card, Ron and I wrote an amount of money that we wanted to pledge for the year. And we said, 
Praise God. Praise God. Amen. And the treasurer came to me and said, what's all this about? And I said, this is about a heart issue. This is about our generosity. And when we got to the point where we were willing to be generous with our financial resources, it freed us up to be truly generous and joyous in our relationship with God and our relationship with others. So this week, as you are considering, um, as a, a ministry partner of Florence Christian Church, you're considering your own giving. I would ask you to think about these three things. That generosity connects us with others. And how is your generosity connecting you with others in the faith community and beyond? How is generosity helping you to invest in what really matters? And in that, I would remind you, take your checkbook out and see how you're stewarding your money and see how you could invest more fully and generously in others and what really matters. And then thirdly, generosity, how can it free you up to experience your relationship with God and with others and your family and peace more fully? God wants to do that in your life and mine. It is a smart way to live, to be generous. It is the way God intends for you and for me to experience true life. Amen and amen.